Hey guys, so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, so I just finished a reading and I feel called to do a collective reading. Um, I haven't actually done one of these in a long time. So this reading is going to be just for whoever needs to hear it, okay? I have no idea what's going to come out. I'm just leaving this open. Um, so we're going to start with the Cosmic Insight Tarot or um, Oracles <clears throat> and see what this is pertaining about. Whoever is the viewer that needs to know. <clears throat> what is the message here? What is the message here for the collective? What's the message here? Love spell? You've been bewitched? What is the message here for the collective? We have confession. Someone has something to tell you. What is the message here for the collective? What's the message? Communicate. Wow. <laughs> Compromise, forget, and work it out. What is the message here for the collective? What's the message here? One more, please. We have gold, gold digger here. They want your money. You're being used. Bottom of the deck is an earth sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign here. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, so let's get this to get us started. I'm also going to grab some of these to get us clarifiers before we get into the tarot itself. So what am I seeing so far? I think that there's someone that's here. I feel like for you guys, and now I know why I'm doing the collective. <laughs> there may be someone here that is trying to convince you of something when it comes to someone else. Okay? You may get some kind of communication here. This person may be confessing something to you. Maybe they're confessing here that you've been fooled or they, they're they they're telling you you've been fooled here by someone. Um, and that you there's someone here that is basically up to no good or, or someone here that is using you in some sort of way. They want your money. You're being used. This is a earth sign here that's trying to convince you of this. It says, yeah, yes, luck is on your side underneath that. And gambling, problems with addictions or gambling, bad finances. There's someone here, could be an earth sign, they're going to communicate to you. They're going to try to confess some things or tell you some things. Someone has something to tell you. They're telling you something about someone, okay? Could be, um, this could be a water sign. Patience. This could be a water sign, or you could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But there's someone here that's trying to convince you or tell you about someone else. Someone that may have bad intentions. They may have addictions. They may have gambling issues. They may be bad with their finances. Um, and it's coming from an earth sign. I think this is someone that's trying to convince you of what somebody is doing. Like they're using you. Let's figure out why that is. I don't know if y'all can hear that thunder, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> why is a love spell here? What is love spell here? Addiction again. Toxic attachment. There's someone here that has a toxic attachment here to... Um, someone else. This could be someone that has going through some addictions here. Has some toxic traits. Confession. What's confession? Relationship. Commitment, partner, boyfriend, and girlfriend. Tell me about communicate. Date. There's someone here that wants to meet up with you because they want to communicate to you. This is someone here that they have something to tell you about a relationship. Why is Gold Digger here? Divine timing.
This is like somebody saying, just wait and you'll see. There's somebody here that's going to come towards you. This is somebody I feel like that, I don't feel like this person's coming from the best place. Bottom of the deck is divine intervention. Okay. This is meant to happen, whatever this is. It's meant to take place. It's meant to happen. Um, this person coming towards you is meant to happen. There's some sort of um, addiction here. There's some sort of addiction here that this person has. It could have to do with they just have a toxic attachment to someone else. There's love spell there. So there's someone here that is acting out of, I feel like, not such a great place. But they're wanting to tell you something about a relationship. And they're, they want to meet up to communicate some things to you. They could be communicating to you that they are, um, you know, something about dating that maybe you're unaware of. Like this person could be dating someone else, you know, and you're a bit unaware of that. The Nine of Wands just showed itself to me. Let's keep going. Why is the, um, why is addiction here with Love Spell? Five of Pentacles. There's somebody here that's been left out in the cold. Somebody that's going to kind of come out of nowhere that... This is also about recovering from financial loss as well. And that's a lot that's, that's over here. There's somebody here, guys. I don't know who this person is. Tell me more about the person that's coming towards... The viewer. Who's the person that's coming towards the viewer? Anything you can tell me about the person that's coming towards the viewer? The Five of Wands. Somebody's coming towards you with... The, yeah. This is somebody you may be in competition with. Somebody that has a conflict here with the situation or with you. Okay. Tell me more about this. Five of Wands. Who is this? Five of Wands. Who is this Five of Wands? So sorry, guys. Okay. This is, this. there's somebody coming in here, stirring some shit up, okay? They, they're coming in here, they're, they're starting some stuff. Give me a card for this person. What is this, Five of Wands? Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. This person may be insecure. They're trying to control the situation. Um, they want to hold on to something here, protect themselves or something like this. This is weird kind of energy. The Emperor is here. Aries energy. This is someone here that is... What? I, what? One more. Temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy. It's weird. I don't feel like this is this person. I don't feel like this is this person. There's someone here that has set some boundaries. Four of Pentacles. You've had conflict with this person, or they have had conflict here with, with someone else, and they're trying to hold on to something, but there's somebody here that's put some boundaries up. There's an imbalance. Somebody's frustrated because they can't get control of the situation. They're trying to. They're having a hard time being able to get control of a situation here. This person could have addictions or there could be something that's toxic here about this person or there, this person could be obsessed, you know, with the situation, with love spell. And this person's like, they're acting out in their um, emotions. I think they're they're afraid to, to lose something. Look at that. Three of Swords is in reverse with that Eight of Wands. There's someone here that's coming in, and you know what I'm seeing with this? This is like somebody that's coming in very, there's a shift in the energy here. And they're coming straight towards releasing this pain that they're feeling. This is somebody that's coming in in an emotional way. Okay, because they're trying to get control of the situation. I think they, they could be trying to get control of something that could be breaking their heart or heartbreaking. 
um, they're wanting to confess something to do with their relationship. For some of you, this is somebody that wants to get out of the cold here. But this person has some toxic behaviors. And you may find that this person, like, you've been bewitched. Like, they normally have, like, they normally can kind of get to you, you know, intoxicate you here. And it's not working. So this person's coming in to confess something. Give me a card for relationship. What is relationship with confession? What is relationship? Yeah, look at this. Four of Wands. This is somebody, there's a confession here. I need to tell you something about having, about being in a relationship or having a relationship here with someone. I need to tell you something about your relationship. There's somebody here that is upset, okay? I think they're upset about the situation. This is like somebody that's upset that you're with someone. And so they come in to try to tell you about how toxic that person is. They try to convince you or they try to tell you things that you don't know about that person. It could be because they, they're the ones that want to be with this person. Or it could be they're just upset that the two of you are together to begin with. You know what I mean? Why is communicate and date here? This says compromise, forgive, and work it out. This person's wanting to... This person's wanting to work this out with you. Date. Communicate. Yeah, look at this. This is somebody that, and you have a Queen of Wands and a Page of Cups. This is somebody that is wanting to talk to you, wanting to go out, wanting to communicate, wanting to, um, yeah, this is somebody sending you a message. They, they, they see you and they're very attracted to you. This is somebody that feels like that, um, I mean, they're confident about the situation. This is somebody that may be determined here. But they're sending you a message here. Wanting to meet up so that you can talk. There's something off about this. Why is the night... Um, I, don't, I don't know why I was going to say night. <laughs> Divine timing and gold digger. What is this? Yeah, the Hierophant. This is somebody that wants to tell you that about a lesson. This is about learning a lesson. Learning a lesson about being used or allowing other people to use you. Why is the five of Taurus energies there? There's Taurus there. Why is the five of Pentacles here in reverse? Justice in reverse. This person feels like there's an unfairness here. They want to have some kind of positive shift or change take place with you. Um, and there's some kind of unfairness that's here. Why is the four of wands here? <clears throat> the eight of swords in the reverse. This is about a release. Releasing being in your head here. You may be confessing to this person that you're you have a relationship that's here. And this is somebody that could be saying I'm, I'm no longer confused about the relationship or what it is that I want. Why is the Queen of Wands in the page of cups here? Yeah, there's that 3 of swords in reverse again. This is somebody that wants to communicate that they want to meet up they want to they want to talk there's some things that they want to discuss it's like forgiveness is here they want to compromise here about something this is somebody that's optimistic that you'll forgive them or you'll take them back Why is the hard fit here in reverse? 
Yeah, the Ace of Swords in reverse. There's a lesson here on when to tell the truth about something. Being honest about something. Yeah. There is a, a, a big lesson here about being honest about something. Why is the Ace of Swords in the reverse? Th there's the Knight. Told you I felt a Knight over here. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody coming towards you slowly. It's just like you don't know if how much information you want to give to this person. You may feel like it's the wrong time to give this person some kind of information here. Maybe that's because you feel like you don't know how this person's going to take it. Um... just like moving towards a situation slowly because you almost like don't know what to do with this information you don't know what to do with this information moving forward what's this justice in reverse yeah the five of pentacles five five justice in reverse there's a mistake that's done here. Okay. Here's what I'm saying. All right. Somebody here has almost like bewitched you in a way. This person had some kind of toxic something going on here. And there was unfairness around this. There was regrets and mistakes around this. And they're wanting to come out of the cold or they're wanting to come to make have a positive change take place. This can also be someone that had maybe have it, have had addictions. They regret the unfairness or unjust that they've done here because of those addictions. And, you know, they're wanting to get out of the cold here with you or they're wanting to show you that they're overcoming these things and they're better. This is someone that is confessing a relationship or you could be confessing a relationship to this person. So it's like... Um, I want a new perspective on, um, or they're giving you some sort of new perspective on the relationship that maybe you haven't seen before. This could be also a third party energy that's expressing this to you about someone, but they're giving you a new perspective that you haven't seen before. So then, then you have this meeting up energy where you meet up with this person. There's communication about, um, Possibly, like, releasing some pain here. It's just forgiveness taking place. Someone asking for forgiveness. Someone wanting forgiveness. But wanting to, you know, move forward or move past something that's here. You have this person here that is going slowly. Because they're confused about what to do with this situation. And perhaps if... This may be, not be the best timing. Maybe because this person... Let's, let's look deeper into that. Tell me more about this. Not a pinnacles here. Yeah, the two of swords. There's a choice here that needs to be made. This is a difficult decision. There's these three swords here. This is a difficult decision that's here. You want to make sure you make the right decision. And, you know, I think that you need some time to figure this out. What to do with this information here that you're getting. Whether this is the truth or not. This is... You may be getting some information about a third party energy, about someone that you may be in a relationship with, and it's gonna give you a new perspective of that person and the relationship. And you're gonna have to sit on this because there's gonna be a decision that you're gonna have to make. So your plan here is to move forward slowly and give this some time so you can see this for yourself if this is true or not 
whatever the information is that you're that's coming in here can you give me it okay yeah the seven of pentacles this is like you know waiting waiting let's give this some time i'm gonna wait and give this some time here this can also be like somebody waiting and investing into something so that they're not they don't look like they're trying to use you in some kind of way. It's like they're putting in some work or putting some investment into this before they communicate some sort of truth here with you because they're trying to gain or earn your trust. Maybe they've used you before. Or maybe you've just been used by others before. So let's see what this is about. Tell me more about this. The fives and the justice with the addiction over here. What's going on over here? What is this five of cups in the reverse? What is the mistake here? The six of wands in the reverse. There's some kind of fall from grace here. Something has... Who's this coming from? Who's this coming from? Who's this information, this love spell? Who's this coming from? Could be a Libra. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody that has known this person for a long time. Okay? Somebody that maybe they've been in a long-term relationship with. Somebody that feels like that they have a lot of information or they know a lot about the situation. There's something here that's happened with this person that's going where they're going to kind of fall off their horse. You know what I mean? Um... This could be family that you're getting this information from, even. Okay, so tell me about the new perspective that's here with this relationship and this reunion. The world. This is closure. That's closure. It's almost like... It's almost like somebody needing to tell you something about a relationship or about maybe the ending of a relationship this can also look in the way of someone that is confessing a relationship and something being over right giving someone a new perspective this may be also for some of you a new perspective on distance If there's distance or there's been distance here, you're getting some kind of new point of view of why there's been distance, um, perhaps. Or this person made something to do with travel or um, far away, you know, something like that. I'm getting a new perspective of, like the bigger picture of, of how this person sees everything. This is going to change the way that you see the relationship, um, this confession. Tell me more. Why is that three of swords there? Yeah, the hermit. Someone's done a lot of introspection. They feel like they've done a lot of soul searching here um, when it comes to forgiveness and healing, like forgiving a situation and healing this. This is someone that it's almost like they're saying here that their um, their inner guidance is kind of leading them towards forgiving forgiveness. It's like you have to do some soul search in here about whether or not you want to forgive this person or this situation. Right. They're meeting up with you, wanting that. They want forgiveness. And you have to think about what it is that you're going to invest in because of this. This is also can also be someone that feels like they've lost everything. Like they had so much and then they kind of lost everything. Maybe because of this person. 
or because of addiction. They lost everything because of this toxicity that's here. They could be confessing an ending to a relationship. Why, why is the world here with that? Yeah, King of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> this is someone that's saying that they understand why a relationship ended and it had to do with them being like emotionally unstable like there's moodiness here with this person this person may have been like manipulative emotionally manipulative they could be doing this as well now coming back around here um Wanting to make peace with this situation here. Wanting to have peace with this situation. It's like they also want to gain a new perspective of this. Yeah. There's something here that's hard to do but necessary. What is that with that hanged man? Pisces energy. What is that that's hard to do but necessary? What is it that's hard to do but necessary? Yeah. There's something here that's that's tormenting this person. There's something here that's this person's needing to let go of that they've just been holding on to for so long. They've just been holding on to this for so long. They've just been carrying it around. And they want to let that go. Why is the hermit energy here? Got the, the King of Wands in reverse. King and Queen of Wands. Not seeing eye to eye there. This is someone that may have been asking too much of you. They'll say they've been asking too much of you. And they want you to forgive them for that. They ask too much of you. They're recognizing this. Maybe they were impulsive or hasty. Yeah. Maybe they moved away quickly or pushed you away. They regret, like, pushing you away. Because they were being, um, not such, not so great, right? What's going to happen here with this Seven of, of Pentacles? The Eight of Cups. You're thinking about what it is that you want to invest in and what it is that you want to abandon. This is a decision that you're going to have to make here. Any what, What's going to happen here with this? What is the viewer? What's going to happen? Well, hold on. Okay. You have an Ace of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. If you've been juggling a relationship or two people, that's something that's no longer going to be happening here. If you have a brand new relationship that's here, look at that. Five of Wands. This may cause some tension. Okay. These cards are just flying out now. Look at this. Wow. You have a King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. This is going to cause some tension. This may cause some competition, some conflict. Making this choice. This could also be someone that is, you know, you may feel like, I keep getting this message. You may feel like, like you're, it's very disorganized, like this idea or this plan to kind of move forward here with this. Um, you may feel like you're not financially prepared or ready for something like this as well, but there's somebody that's still coming in. There's somebody that's still, either way, they're wanting this relationship here. And they're willing to fight for it. This is somebody that wants to be chosen. This is like using your head about the situation. Being like smart here about what it is that you offer this person. Because you see value here with this person. And, yeah, you're coming in here with this 
Knight of Cups, you're wanting to apologize and offer this person love. Um, or, uh, this is a romantic offer. This is somebody here, and this may not be you. Take the story how it resonates, right? But it's a, you know, collective, and it's not going to fit for everybody, of course. But there's definitely someone that's coming in here that is, yeah, they want to fight for something here with you. And they're going to. They don't feel ready. But they're, they are. They're coming in regardless. I just fixed that, and I just screwed it right up, didn't I? <laughs> Give me a card here for the um, Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands. This is somebody that wants to defend their position here in a relationship. Why is the Two of Pentacles in reverse? This is the Eight of Wands. So there's fast moving energy here, communication here. Yeah, this is something that I feel like is not organized. Like this person's coming in kind of abruptly. You see all these wands? Yeah, offering this. Wanting you to reevaluate, rethink the situation. Tell me about this. This person may be even feeling somewhat rejected here. <coughs> this could be somebody that you had a family with, or at one point you had emotional fulfillment here with. You saw this as your happily ever after at some point. But this is someone here that's coming in. They're being, trying to be smart here about this. <clears throat> it's like they don't want to lose their wish fulfillment. But I feel like you're also looking at this in a way of, well, does this still align with my values? You know, yeah, look at that. You know, this is going to be something that's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. This is person's laying it on you. I mean, look at this. They're laying it on you here. Um, so it's going to test your faith here, right? And what it is that you really want. <clears throat> There's a relationship here that you may have to even feel like you have to defend. It's like communicating why you've made a decision, too. Why you chose not to take their offer. What, what, why is the Seven of Wands here? Six of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, the Empress. You have maybe a relationship here that you feel like is balanced and well and is very giving and it's in your you're wanting to protect or preserve this relationship that you have here and you may be communicating that to someone that you've made a choice here um, and you want to move forward here with with someone that you you know you feel like you can have abundance here with Taurus energy yeah. This is somebody that's resenting this, right? This is somebody you've had conflict with in the past that maybe was all talk and no action. Like this person maybe said that they were going to do a lot of things or said that they were going to fix a lot of things and maybe even apologized a lot of times, but nothing ever came out of it. They never actually stuck to their word. They always went back to being who they were, you know, and you may have gave this person a chance after chance. Um, this is somebody here that has been spying on you, perhaps. They're, they've been holding on, holding back and holding on to, you know, some resentments here. This is somebody that even could be holding a grudge because they feel like that maybe you, you made some promises you didn't keep. There could have been something to do with betrayal that's here even. <clears throat> this is maybe why you're rejecting this person. 
And this is like a, a, a disagreement that's taking place here, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Cups here in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. This person's lost their opportunity here for happiness, fulfillment with you. And this isn't an easy thing to do. Yeah. Choices. This is going to, it's going to test you. It's like, this isn't going to be easy. Making the choice that you need to make is not going to be easy. And you don't know what's going to happen here with this person. Um, you know, when you make this choice, how they're going to react to this. <clears throat> but this is karma that's playing out. It's needing to happen because you need to be able to wake up or see something. And it has to do with your own sense of safety and security. And if you feel comfortable here with someone, waking up to the fact that you, you know, <clears throat> you want peace. So you're going to be sitting on a decision. I don't think it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard for you to make this decision. Let's... <clears throat> Yeah, King of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. And look at that, the Emperor with Judgment in reverse and the Fool with the Devil in reverse. There's the Queen of Pentacles. See, again, two counterparts that aren't seeing eye to eye here. There's manipulation that's going on here with this that, or poor planning that's going on here with this that I don't really like. There's an imbalance in what each of you may want or how you see stability. <clears throat> someone's breaking free here and someone else is wanting to hold on to the situation. Right? But it's it's a risk. <clears throat> you may be taking a risk in a different, you know, having a beginning elsewhere. And this is something that some the other person refuses to accept. They don't want to see you with anyone else or something like that is there, right? So you're having to step up. You're having to kind of put your foot down in this situation. <clears throat> you know, and it's hard. It's difficult. Because you, 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 you don't know what's real from fantasy here with this person. You don't know if they're being honest with you, if they're not. You can't trust this person. That's why you're moving in a new direction to begin with. <clears throat> How are you? Let's get a different deck. Look, I'll end it on the Two of Cups. With the Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody does not want this relationship to end. They want to keep reliving some things here. This is like, you know, resisting a change here, unable to move on from the nostalgia that they feel, from the memories that they have here with you, from the partnership itself. Um, and <clears throat> it's something, a weight that this person's been carrying around here. Okay, let's take a quick peek. Let's see how this person is, is viewing you at this time. <clears throat> how is the collective here, the viewer, how, are, how is their person viewing them at this time? The rocking horse. Indecision, lack of consistency, on and off again relationship. So this person seeing you as someone that's kind of hot and cold with them or on and off with them, right? You're not consistent with them, or they see you as being indecisive about them. Tell me more how this person's seeing the viewer. I don't want to take all that. How's this person seeing the viewer? Yeah, the battlefield. Like you're putting up a fight. Like you're not on the same page. There's disagreements or arguments that could be going on here. Karmic ties. This person seeing you as, maybe they feel like that you're in another relationship. Um, you could be in a karmic relationship is how they're seeing it. Um, yeah, this person feels like you're indecisive here, maybe about them. And they're wanting to fight for like their position when it comes to maybe someone else or a karmic tie you have here with someone else. How is their person seeing them at this time? <clears throat> The grasp of greed. Now, this is somebody that wants to hold on to you. They're possessive of you, like you're theirs. They don't want anybody else to have you. Um, so how are you seeing this person? Something big may have happened here when the solar eclipse happened. Some heavy shift may have happened, like your mindset. Maybe realizing 
you know, what you need is safety and security here. Waking up to that and, and having that, it's kind of changed the way you see this relationship. How are you seeing this person right now? Follow the signs. So you, you may have been feeling like you're connecting the dots here with this person. You're looking at the red flags here, that things aren't an accident or coincidence. Like if they keep happening, it's like you're looking at the patterns and everything with this person. How are you seeing this person, the viewer? How are they seeing this person? How are they seeing this person? You have the key to closed doors. So unlocking mysteries, allowing new experiences, and what was once closed before is now open. And then you have the lady, the, the lady spider web. New connections, shaping your reality, begin, bringing the past, the present, and the future together. Let's get one more. <clears throat> So I feel like that you're seeing this person, you are seeing this person as someone that has, that has shaped your reality. Like, I don't know, it's weird. You see this person as someone that's opened you up. Like it may have been a rough experience, but they opened you up to what it is that you really deserve. They've shaped your reality. You know, it's like everything's making sense and coming back around. Karma's like coming back around the wheel here. Everything's playing out in a balanced way. And roll the dice. You feel like this is a risky situation here with this person. You're seeing them as, like I said earlier, they're kind of unpredictable. You don't know what's going to happen here with this person. You may also have a new connection here um, that's changing, you know, your reality here, this situation here with this person. Yeah, look, left out in the cold and ocean of tears. So you're seeing this person is, is having regrets, being, you know, at a loss. There's sadness and heartbreak that's here because you may be leaving this person out in the cold. You feel like they feel like you've just kind of went off and left them. They feel an unfairness, unjust that's been done here. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what else we can get through this. Let's see what this person would say to you. Let's see. What would this person say? You may realize that this person does not have the same effect on you as they once did. Well, I love you unconditionally. They couldn't wait to get that out. They may say things to you like, well, remember the things that you did too. I still love you. <laughs> Um, something like that is there. I feel so happy with you. Yeah. There's those memories. I told you this person's like, you know, reliving those memories. What would this person say to you? New love. Mm-hmm. What would this person say to you? Awakening. There it is. This person may just now, I love you, be waking up to how they really feel about you for some of you now that you've moved on or now that you're in a new relationship. Um, they feel like, okay, now they, they're waking up to their ways, you know? They're waking up to what you mean to them. Well, that's convenient, <laughs> isn't it? Look, I know I crossed the line here with you. Yeah, this person knows what they've done. They're recognizing what they've done. Look at that. Apology. And strictly sexual with addiction again and I look for you everywhere for some of you this person had some toxic stuff going on um, they could have this relationship could have been something that was strictly sexual or um, they could have been addicted to the sex here or you know something like that is here this is some really toxic stuff here that's going on with this person um, and there's an apology around this okay Something to do with the toxic addiction here. Um, maybe how this person feels like they once were. They're no longer like this. You know, maybe they're... There's something hidden here with this. I think this person may lack what, what it is that they have here with you. Especially if it's something that they, can, they feel like they can just kind of come and have you whenever they want. They don't like not feeling like that they can't have that. So they'll almost kind of like, yeah, they're going to apologize here or do whatever they can 
to try to be able to keep you because they want to be able to keep like you're like an addiction to this person <clears throat> okay what does paul or paul <laughs> what does the viewer need to know here about this ask your angels seek the divine your angels want to support you so you need to be praying or you know calling on um whoever it is that you look up to or the universe manifestation here of what it is that you need to manifest from the situation here um law of attraction thoughts become things so be careful about your thoughts try to keep a positive or open mindset here of how this can go you may have a new relationship or new love that's getting kind of caught up in the mix of this that you're wanting to protect, you know, we have denial here. Failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles or addictions. Again, creativity, how to express yourself in new ways. An expansion is at the bottom of the deck. Surpu, surpu? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pursue bigger and greater endeavor, endeavors. So you're going to be expanding here, I feel like. I feel like some of your manifestations are going to come out into play. It's almost like this person's still holding on to you, even though you're like it, you're moving into a new era, right? Um, you do have some new energies that are coming your way, some new experiences, some fun here. Um, you could be, you know, exploring new areas or locations or... Um, new connections here even. I want to get, let's see what you can expect in your future here. Besides what's going on here with this person. What can you expect in your future here? Rejection. Well, that's there. Number 38. So I do feel like that, you know, that you're going to feel like you're going to reject this person. But what can you expect in your future? Codependency. Okay, they're still staying stuck on this. Number 32, codependency here. Bottom of the deck, regret. This person, guys, they're gonna, they may stay stuck on you here for a little while, okay? This is judgment here. This person's gonna come in, they're gonna try to do every way that they can, but they're gonna get to a point to where they almost feel desperate. So, they may be regretting some things that they said, some things that they've done, and some choices that they've made here, okay? But there's a, re there's a rejection here, and you're going to have to go through this breaking away from this person here for a while, especially if this is something that was, this person's very codependent here. Um, anything else we need to know about this? Oh my god, I pulled it again. <laughs> I pulled it again. This person here is going to have to go through this. They're having to, this is like, you have to face judgment here for how something transpired. You know, this is karma playing out, balancing the scales. We have influence here. This person could have been influenced here by someone else, or they're trying to influence you, you know? Um, yeah, fear, because they're afraid. Forgiveness. And the spark. They're afraid that you're never going to forgive them or that they'll ne things will never be the same here with you. They'll never have this opportunity here with you. So they're acting out of fear. Right? That deck didn't want to tell me. It wanted to go back into your person. So <clears throat> we'll leave that over there. And let's take a look here with these and see if we can figure out what you can expect in your future moving forward. Opening up, holding on. <laughs> Main woman, okay. You may be opening up to this person that you're holding on to um, someone else, you know? <laughs> Anything else that I'm missing here? Yeah, the runner. There could be somebody here that, um, like love, hate, and foolish 
gift and regrets. Yeah. You may have, you may feel like this wanted to come out hot and cold. Um, you may feel like that you may have left someone hanging here, new beginning. Left someone hanging here when it comes to a new beginning. Like they didn't know if you're going to have a new beginning here or not. What's going on? Um, and there's regrets around this. There's a gift that's here. There's somebody here that's like they're gifting you some kind of small token or something like that for the way that they acted, how foolish that they were in this love-hate relationship. This is someone that may have ran here from the relationship. I feel like in the future that this person or someone here is going to open up or you may be opening up um, to what it is that you want to hold on to. What am I looking for? Let's grab this. Tell me what the opening up is. Look at that. Judgment again. Someone here is going to open up to you. They're going to face judgment. You're going to face judgment here. You're going to open up to this person or they're going to open up to you. I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you opening up, expressing yourself about what it is you want to hold on to. Yeah, look at that relationship here. You want to hold on to this relationship. I don't, I feel like main woman. Yeah. Seven of Swords. You have the Magician in the reverse with the Devil in reverse and the Fool with the Tower and the Chariot. Fear of the Unknown. Lack of control here. Trying to avoid a disaster. Taking a risk of someone breaking free or detaching. Like trying to manipulate the situation. There's someone here that's being sneaky. You're trying to sneak away here, I feel like. Give me another card for that Seven of Swords. Temperance in reverse. This is like somebody you're trying to sneak away from because they may be kind of temperamental. This is like you're not trying to poke the bear. This may be somebody opening up to you about this. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be somebody that held on to a relationship because of codependency. Um, because they were, it was the materialist stuff, you know. Judgment. The Page of Wands. I'm telling you, we're going to go back to the beginning here, okay? Someone is coming in with a message here. They're opening up here about, they're going to enlighten you. They're opening up and, and giving you some sort of, they're making a judgment call here to open up to you about something. And I think it has to be with the relationship and what it is that they want to hold on to. And I think with this Nine of Pentacles being in reverse, which is pre-Empress energy, this is... This is somebody that may want the reward without putting in the time or the energy. So it could be a relationship that this person's wanting to hold on to because they feel as if, you know, it's valuable to them. There's value here in this. But they didn't, I don't like this. There's someone here that feels like deceived, that is very temperamental. Yeah, not a ones. 
I don't like this energy. You have a six of cups here with the star. There's someone here, guys, that is coming in to apologize to you. They are sneaky. They're trying to influence you. You may have another relationship here. This is somebody, this is going to shake some stuff up here, okay? Somebody from your past, someone that has a lot of memories with you, someone that misses you. They want to open up here. They're making a judgment call. They're going to send a message here that they're making a judgment call to open up to you. They want to hold on to the relationship, and they're not happy with how things are. They see, like, they're not happy on their own. They want this relationship here with you. Now, there is this sneaky energy that's here with this Knight of Wands, which can be somebody that comes in very lustful-like, um... I don't like this energy that I'm seeing over here, to be honest with you. Because I feel like somebody's maybe using, they could be using sex here. They could be using lust to try to get to you. Like, whatever it is they're doing, they're like going ab above and beyond or doing it in excessive in an excessive way to try to to try to get to you here. Yeah, I look at that mask as I pick this card up. They have a hidden motive. What is the hidden motive here? That seven of swords. I'm trying to see like what's going to happen here with you in the future, but it's I keep getting drawn drew back into this person because there's a lot of energy around them look at this liquid courage intoxicated this person may come to you with liquid courage you know coming to you in a sneaky way they may sneak towards you why okay they're taking a chance here taking a risk a toxic relationship and romantic feelings. Yeah. This is a weird energy. You have snake. Deception. You cannot trust this person, okay? This person here that's coming in. Don't trust this person. They may have some odd behavior that's going on. They're, 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 it's like they're sneaking towards you. They're going to try to get control of you here. They may use, you know, sexual desire to do that. They're taking a chance here because they have romantic feelings for you here. But they know this relationship's toxic. Yeah. And ghosted and unfinished business is underneath that. person may feel like you have unfinished business with them, but you may have like disconnected from this person here or rejected this person and they feel like there's some kind of deception around that. This is like someone saying, you know, you're not going to reject me. I don't like it. I don't like the energy I'm feeling. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> Let's move on. Do not like that energy at all. What advice do you have here for the viewer? True love. Your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner, but this solventarity actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. Yeah, this person is like using you. This person tries to really use you. 
I don't think they even see it. They feel like that this is like love. They feel like that this is um, this is what love is, and it, this isn't what love is. They they're under the impression that this attachment that they feel or this addiction that they feel towards you is is love, and it's not. And this person may have some some issues. Um, any other advice that you have? Lon a loneliness. That could be their issue. This person has a hard time being alone. When you stop fearing your loneliness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love solitude, and that's when kindred spirits can finally come in. Yeah, it's like once you realize this, you know, you yourself, it's you don't you have the, you don't have the same need for this person as they do you now. It's like the roles have kind of switched here, right? Make it God's is under the bottom of the deck. Release the idea of my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. You may have been like really not knowing what to do about this person because maybe you care about this person. Maybe you love this person. Maybe you don't want to see this person hurt. You know, what should they do about this person? <clears throat> what should they do about this person that's coming towards them in this way? Embrace your life purpose, number 12. I'm guiding you towards the divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. So whatever it is that makes you feel joy in your heart you know um and it's time to play like this is like this is dragging on it's creating a toxic environment for you it's it keeps getting in the way of you being able to play to have fun to excel to have a, abundance it's your blockage here it's keeping you from being able to expand and it's it's saying, you know, go towards what it is that you feel like brings you joy. It says you're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance back into your life. Yeah. All right, guys. This one deserves a postcard from Spirit. So I'm going to grab one of those and I'm going to wrap it up. We'll get some initials to close this as well. Obviously, there's someone here that's just not, you know, you just can't. This person's just, you don't trust this person. They're not meant to be trusted. This person may have ran from you before. Um, they may be a runner, you know, where they don't get too close. And they may feel like you're detaching from them, like you're finally kind of moving on from this. Ooh, okay. That's the one. It says, <clears throat> take flight. Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument, two sides if not more, to every story and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach the experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternative plan may be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys, and some people might refuse to maintain, remain open to another person's point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. Yeah, I mean, this is like accepting a situation and not having, not feeling like you have to defend everything. Like this person comes back at you with, you know, their perception of what happened here may be very different from yours and that's okay. Um, but, you know, you have your own story. You have your own feelings of how you feel. You have um, your own projection itself. And sometimes, you know, if compromise especially can't be had. It's that you just forgive the situation for what it is and, you know, accept it and, and move on past this. So it's not something that is 
hurting you in your life in any kind of way, hurting you from growth, hurting you from being able to expand, moving on in your life, you know, pursuing bigger and greater endeavors here. This has, been, this has been something that's really been hard to let go of. You may have it's just had just like a, you know, unhealthy, toxic relationship with this person. You may have had a, a trauma bond built with this person where there's just always, they're always there. This person may have been spying on you here. They could have been draining your energy here with the bat. Um, this could have been draining your energy. You have the shadows here with the mushroom. And then you have the house here. So your safety and security, again, is, is important. Think about, you know, what you've learned from this experience. Don't repeat another cycle here with this person. Um, keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> this is the Ace of Pentacles. So you may have a new opportunity here. Maybe a new opportunity to have something stable or solid. We have R-E-L-L. -L. Real? <laughs> kind of? Um... Okay, so I guess I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see it. ER is here, LL. Alright guys, so thanks for being here. Oops, thanks for all your love and support and all your kindness, of course. I hope this helps. Good luck with this, guys. And um, if you don't mind, if you resonate with this and this did help you, if you could hit that like button i would appreciate it so much and also um subscribe if you feel like you kind of connect with me and my readings um i appreciate you guys and i hope to see you soon